TSMC has reported that Tesla's next generation Dojo super chips are currently in production. But whilst they're a huge improvement of the previous generation, the new new version coming in two years time will be 40 times more powerful. 40 times. That is revolutionary. That is utterly mind blowing. Tesla's supplier, Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company Limited, or TSMC, has revealed that Tesla's Dojo supercomputer is about to get a lot better. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to see you. Tesla has been heavily investing in its AI training compute power. It's no longer compute constrained. According to Elon Musk, Tesla has been compute constrained for the entire history of the organization. And what this has meant is that they've had to select which data they would use to train Dojo. They no longer have to do that. So all the apparently billions of miles that Tesla is driving, Tesla drivers are driving with full self-driving turned on, Tesla can actually use all the data in that now because their supercomputer is so massive that it can handle this amount of data. Now, I find that hard to believe, but that's what Tesla say. Tesla, though, has been heavily investing in AI training compute power both through buying NVIDIA hardware and buying its own for its Dojo program. The first generation of its Dojo supercomputing platform, it's actually one of the fastest, most powerful supercomputers in the world, went into operation last summer. Shortly after that, it was reported that Tesla had expanded its partnership with TSMC, a large semiconductor company that manufactures the Dojo chip for the automaker. Now, apparently, Tesla was using a chip called the D1 chip, but now they are putting 25 of these chips in an area the size of a dinner plate. So it's about this big, 25 chips in this area. They're supplying 15 kilowatts of power to these 25 chips. And apparently, therefore, Tesla has assembled a fully working system that is better than what it previously had. TSMC has confirmed that Tesla's next generation Dojo chip has entered production and their work on technology that could deliver much greater power to Dojo in 2027. Here's a quote from them. At TSMC's North American Technology Symposium, the company detailed both its semiconductor technology and chip packaging technology roadmaps. The former is key to keeping the traditional part of Moore's law going. The latter could accelerate a trend toward processes made from more and more silicon, leading quickly to systems the size of a full silicon wafer. Such a system Tesla's next generation Dojo training tile apparently is in production, says TSMC. So this is Tesla's proprietary own chip that they use for their full self-driving. In 2027, the foundry plans to offer technology for more complex wafer scale systems than Tesla's that could deliver 40 times as much computing power as today's. So what are Tesla doing with this? What, What are they actually, what's the point? Well, Tesla's new planned $500 million Dojo cluster is in New York. This is what Tesla are using to basically create full self-driving to make it work and also to power their robotics. For example, the Tesla bot, this is important for both of those areas. It actually is a really, really good crossover. Tesla is also building a new 100 megawatt data center to train its self-driving AI at the Gigafactory in Texas. This system though, apparently will use Nvidia hardware. It'll be in a different system. It's worth pointing out the NVIDIA chips are an entirely separate system to Tesla's main Dojo supercomputer, but a 100 megawatt data center is massive. And will this train uh, Tesla's AI in terms of its AI for full self-driving and its AI for Tesla bots? I think it'll do both of those. But you know, it's Tesla are kind of a little bit secretive about some of this stuff, as you imagine you would be when you're spending this kind of money. How much money is Tesla spending? Apparently, by the end of this year, they will have spent $10 billion. You can see why Tesla's firing staff that they believe are not essential because Tesla are going, you know what? We're all in on full self-driving. We're all in on robotics, on having robots. And the reason is because I think primarily people don't realize this, but the robotics industry is far more lucrative than the automotive industry, far more by a factor of 20. I mean... The global labor industry is worth trillions and trillions and trillions of dollars every single year. If Tesla can get a just a small little slice of the global labor industry, that is worth far more than Tesla's entire business today. So you can see why this artificial intelligence is now Tesla's number one priority. I think they're prioritizing it over everything. Thanks for watching.